Hello, today we are going to see multivariable optimization problem. So in this problem, the important thing is that the initial point and the minimum point. So all are the numerical methods. So in numerical method, we have one initial point and we have to find the minimum point. So there are two possibilities. That means whatever we choose the initial value, if it is far from minimum value okay then how to find which method will be best okay then another thing is that if the point is near to minimum value then what method will apply and how to know that whatever we have chosen the initial point that is minimum uh, distance from minimum point is more or less means is it uh, more far or less far how to know and which method will apply because we don't have the information of minimum uh, point okay so how to uh, take initial point and how to get that we will see so we we know that Cauchy method so in Cauchy method what happens when we have initial point is far that time it is useful so how we do we have to construct s that is negative gradient of this f of x that we have to find and we have to find x k plus 1 okay in in that using x k okay then minus s means plus s so in that way we can find so Cauchy method. So it is useful if the initial point is far from the minimum and if the initial point is uh, close to minimum point then Newton's method is useful. Here we have, what you have to do we have to find xk plus 1 and this xk plus 1 will be this xk okay then minus this Hessian matrix HK, okay, its inverse, okay, into gradient of FXK, okay. So in that way we can find these are the formula. Now, as we see that we have initial point, but we don't know is it far from the minimum or uh, it is close to minimum. So what to do? We have to find another method, or we can uh, uh, propose a method so that it will compose of uh, two method or uh, we can hybridize two method and form a new method and that method is called Marconet method ok so now uh, what is that we will see now we will see the steps of this method so here we have to define some variable that is uh, m m is the number of iteration then k is the starting value initialized we have to initialize k equal to 0 then epsilon is the stopping criteria now x0 is the initial value and lambda 0 is large number that we have to take and we can take that 10 to the power 4 so here we will write that m equal to number of iterations Absolute equation, stopping criteria, lambda 0 is a large number. Now, we will start this procedure. So, second step is that we have to calculate f of x, k and we have to find norm of f of x, k. Okay. This should be less than or equal to epsilon or the k value should be greater than or equal to m. So this determines the number of iteration and the total uh, this step is determine the stopping criteria means we have to stop the process. So after that what to do? We have to find s of xk. Okay. So s of xk is what this is minus of this hk this is hessian matrix plus 
this lambda k into i the identity matrix to the power minus 1 means inverse of this into gradient of f of xk so in this way we have to find then what will be the next point so xk plus 1 will be xk plus s of xk so in this way we have to find the s value and the next point using the previous point next point is this xk plus 1 and the previous point is xk okay now what to do next so next is that we have to check the function value okay that means you have to find f of x k plus 1 and f of x k okay so if f of x k plus 1 less than f of x k then means if it is yes okay or if it is no there are two choices so if it is yes then what to do then we have to take lambda k plus 1 equal to lambda k divided by 2 and k equal to k plus 1 so that we have to take okay now after that what will happen then it will go to step 2 this step now if the answer is no then what will happen then we have to write lambda k plus 1 equal to 2 times lambda k okay so we have to do this thing then what will happen it will move to this step okay so this is the whole procedure now what is the advantage of this method you can see that we have to start with large lambda value as we start with large lambda value then the initial point will be far from minimum point so we can use if you see this sk so it will be similar to this cauchy differentiation method so that means cauchy uh, method will be applied if it will be la lambda value will be more so now over the iteration if we iterate the lambda value will decrease and what will happen if it, this value will decrease it will be approximately hk inverse into this so which will be newton's method okay so whatever we have the initial value we can use this method first this method will convert this uh, whole system to uh, Cauchy's method form then slowly slowly it will convert to Newton method form and finally we will get the uh, solution we will get the minimum x value so this is the overall idea of the Marquardt method